Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, we resume with our scripture reading and prayer. Uh, today we're looking at the rest of Psalm 11. We're going to look at 11, 4 through 7. Let's see what the Word has for us today. The Lord is in His holy temple. The Lord is on His heavenly throne. He observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. On the wicked he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. The upright will see his face. Wow. Some of that's pretty rough, isn't it? He hates those who love wickedness with a passion. It will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. Scorching wind will be their lot. Well, that just reminds us that he is a righteous judge. He gives men and women, boys and girls, opportunities to come to know him as, as in his son Jesus as Lord and Savior. And, and often people say no. Well, there is going to be a judgment. And we all will, will face it. Um, and, and that's just a, a, a reality of, of the end times when Christ returns some who have said no, uh, may have another opportunity during the tribulation. Um, but, you know, he's righteous in his judgments. He gives every opportunity. Uh, but the one thing that we, we can find encouragement from is the very first part of it. Um, for the Lord is in his holy temple. Amen. Aren't you glad that he's still on the throne? Yeah. He observes everyone on earth. His, exa his eyes examines them. Well, just like he's going to judge the unrighteous, he's going to judge the righteous and give us, uh, according to, to um, what he's promised us, everlasting life, a hope, a future, um, crowns, uh, rewards. We just really don't know if, if it's all spiritual significance or if it's going to be some kind of a tangible um, significance like crowns or or things like that where you know it's not clear that it's actual things it just may be speaking about spiritual riches um, so either way we're going to be with God and that's the greatest treasure of them all so I hope that some way this this text finds uh, a place in your heart for encouragement I know sometimes the Psalms they're, they're very difficult to apply um, but you know maybe we may have found something out of it this morning Lord is in his holy temple. He is on his heavenly throne. Praise the Lord for that. Again, he observes everyone on earth. His eyes ex examine them. That means he sees us. He sees me right now doing this. He sees you listening, doing whatever you're doing today on Friday. But I just pray that whatever we're doing, that we're bringing him honor, that we're bringing him glory in, in our actions and in our words. Well, I love y'all. I hope y'all have a great Friday. Um, we're going to be doing some more recording this weekend. So don't forget, if you can't come to church on Sunday, and just um, watch our service online on our website, Facebook, or YouTube. Um, and those that can come Sunday, then I'll see you Sunday. Uh, we're almost uh, ready for the next governor's round of, of talks with us, uh, possibly going into phase two uh, soon. Uh, if that's the case, then more normal things will start coming uh, back around as far as our facilities are concerned. Um, but anyway, we look forward to that. I love y'all. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for today. We just pray, Lord, you use us today for your glory, that in some way that we can be of service to you. But I pray that um, whatever we do, we do bring you glory and honor as you watch us, as you see us, as you protect us. You're our shield. And we know that you are watching, that you are very observant of our lives. And I pray that, that whatever we do today, the words we speak, our nonverbals, our, our, our actions, Lord, will We'll, we'll speak volumes to your heart as we do that through love and ministry. Thank you for the privilege of prayer. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name we pray together. Amen. Well, I hope you all have a great weekend. See, um, hopefully, most of you guys on Sunday.